We're here in the St. Clement Church in Laholm, in on the west coast of Sweden, where I'm going to play a clavichord recital this evening. Um, I'm presenting uh, one of my favorite pieces. It is a transcription of the Chiacona from Bach's D minor partita for solo violin. Um, the transcription is made by Harold Fogel and Eduardo Bellotti. Harold Fogel, um, for many years, has uh, thought about this piece as the story of Orpheus and Eurydice. He looks at the rhetorical figures in this piece and sees the possibility that Bach followed the outlines of the story. So it begins with a lamento, and there's a downward seeking quality to the figures. And then Orpheus meets an obstacle. Um, maybe it's the Furies, maybe it's Cerberus. And to break through that obstacle, we come to a place where there is harpeggio. And we can hear Orpheus playing his lyre and winning over the king of Hades. And when the Furies fly away, the lamento repeats as if Orpheus is standing there, waiting, holding his breath. And then the piece begins in major, and we can imagine Eurydice appearing. And the major section goes from wonder to dancing to ecstasy, and then a very still place with open, large intervals where you might be able to imagine Orpheus and Eurydice climbing toward the light. And you know that the only thing Orpheus has to do is to trust that Eurydice is following him and not turn around. And when he turns around, the music goes back into a dramatic minor and Eurydice falls away. And you can hear maybe the ripping of Orpheus's body into small pieces um, and the water uh, cascading um, as the river Strix washes his body away. And then it ends again with a very quiet memento. This is a way of thinking rhetorically about this piece that maybe um, was previously thought of as abstract music. Um, and uh, I find it a very exciting way to concentrate on focusing my energy when I perform, because then I know what things are for. Um, there's a tradition of playing these violin pieces at the clavichord that goes all the way back to Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, Bach loved to sit at the clavichord with the manuscript of his solo violin works and play them with, um, with a simple accompaniment. We have had versions of uh, these violin pieces for keyboard. Uh, everyone from Johannes Brahms to the wonderful uh, modern transcriptions of Gustav Leonhardt. And this is in that tradition, but Eduardo Bellotti and Harald Vogel have uh, formed this one especially for the class.